searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back guys and gals, Critical here. Today I'm bringing you an episode of Subsistence on my Season 4 playthrough. Alright, I've spent the night... Oh, when I was cooking my chicken, I separated the freshly cooked chicken from this older chicken. Just to be on the safe side. I also went swimming for kelp, but as you can tell, I've made some changes to my... Boardwalk? I don't know what else to call it, it's basically a boardwalk. I was finally able to get all the way across the bridge, and I have a set of stairs on this side now. And it worked out perfectly that this is the center of my boardwalk. I just love it when things work out. Now that foundation, I need to shift it around, I need to move the wall around. It's stuff I'll get to. Um, the reason that that's sitting there is that if I walk up here, I can't because that foundation's the way it sits, it uh, it stops me from getting up. So I need to switch out one of my, probably this one. I think this is a ceiling piece, I'm pretty sure. No, that is a foundation. Oh darn, okay. Put you back. I think this one can go in without hanging out. Meaning the legs won't be dangling in the air, I'm pretty sure. But we'll see. I'm going to run this one over. I mean, it's a waste of a foundation if I don't do something with it. So for right now, even if it even if it won't be there permanently, I'm going to go ahead and put it down. And let me check. Yeah, it won't be there permanently. I hate it when it does that. So nope, will not be there permanently. Cannot take that. I am definitely going to have to move that one. That's okay. I'll use that foundation elsewhere later. But this way, I keep doing that, sorry. This way, I can get a roof over my head that should allow me to walk up without trouble. Because the last thing I want to be doing is trying to run from something, hit that, and I hit my head on it and it stop moving. That's basically going to be me dying and not being a happy camper about it. Oh, I need wood. I used all my wood up on getting stuff done. Now, I went out last night and got all the trees around, but we're going to grab the, the trees that are right around my house. It's perfect. It gets me about 20. I think it's like 20 or 21 logs. So it's a quick top off. Then we're going to head out. I want to go look for some lock crates. There's a lot of talk in both the Discord and the forum about people not seeing lock crates. And I'm not gonna go show you over there. I'm gonna go show you that these are the areas that I look, and I'm not seeing them either. Now, I did mention to Cold Games, hey, there's a lot of chatter about this. He, he did make a, a change to the respawn timer of lock crates after you open them. But I think that that had unintentional consequences. He did say that for the next update that he is going that he's added something to tweak that he, he's adjusted it or something what that actually means i have no clue all right i'm not giving you facts i'm giving you impressions my impressions based on what he told me um um um, um I, 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 I stay there you don't want to come this way no 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 oh no 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 i'm not missing that carrot Run! Oh, darn! Don't stop! <laughs> Stupid bear! Come on! Come on, Yogi! Let's see how far you want to run today. Oh, God, now I got a wolf on me. Is this gonna be my first death? No, no, it's not, because I have a plan. There's a reason I built a boardwalk across my lake. This was. This was. In I was going to say intentional. This was um, foretold. I had a, a feeling I may need to do this at some point. So now, what are you going to do now, huh, Yogi? Yogi, huh, huh? Bye-bye, wolf, and the bear's over there. 
Definitely got me some hit. He got himself some some critical. Oh, and I got a carrot. It was worth it. It was worth it. I'm gonna go ahead and eat that. Eat one. I'm gonna swap. I need to stand here by the fire for a minute to uh, get some health back. If you sit next to a, a warm fire and you're warm and dry, your health returns a little bit faster. It's it's a small margin. It's not gonna be worth sitting here all day for it, but to get a, a couple points. Oh, that same bear's over there. Now I've got that bear stuck on my leg. But you shouldn't see me. I'm sitting on my foundation. I should be basically invisible to you. Okay, so he's just making noise to make noise. Did he have blood on him from hitting me? He does. It looks like he's got blood. I'm pretty sure he's got blood on him, and I didn't hit him, so... It looks like he's a little bloody. It's hard to tell, and I'm no, I'm not going to get any closer to find out. I don't care what you say or what you try to pay me. No. It can happen. You got your bear scare and yell, so be happy. Those of you that love when I get scared by a bear. This episode is now concluded. You can leave now. You've got what you came for. So, let... Oh, blueberry. Yes. Always... Ooh, hello. No, um, I went after rabbits last episode. I think I'm kind of burned out on the rabbit scene. Not that I'm going to not go after rabbits, but for a day or so, I'll give the rabbits a break. I think tonight, when I'm spending the evening again, I'll go ahead and fish some more. I'm missing not having a refrigerator. Really missing not having a refrigerator. Oh, hello. Now this isn't an area that I normally look for locked crates in. I'm just noticing all the goodies in the area. I'm picking them up. But I'm gonna show you one of my favorite areas for locked crates. Now someone suggested I do a video on where to find locked crates at. And they've mentioned it more than once. Every time I think about how would I make a video on going to find locked crates, it ultimately would come down to me flashing a map up and saying, see these large area, do you see these circles? These are the general, hello bear, general areas where I have found lock crates in the past. Lock crates spawn in these areas in a random area within these larger circles. Good luck, go look for them. I mean, it's true. That's exactly how they spawn. But I can't tell you exactly where to look for a lock crate. I can only show you a few areas that I know I find lock crates at. And I'm not even going to tell you I know that I know where all of the lock crate spawns are. I'm sure there's areas that I'll see a lock crate and go, oh, I've never seen a lock crate over here before because I've never seen a lock crate over there before. That's the honest truth. But when I was doing my five best, at least as far as I'm concerned, places to live in the game for your first starter base, I actually did talk about the lock crates in those areas. Why? And I saw that bag. I'm just skipping it because I've got a train of thought I want to follow because those areas have the ability to have a lock crate in them there's a lock crate spawn rather close by or more than one so I have kind of talked about it in the past but a whole guide video on how to find a lock crate I think it'd be rather boring uh, you know what that's a blueberry and you're just a level three wolf. I'm willing to take a chance. I got my health back now. Now we're coming up to what I consider Lock Crate Central. It's one of my favorite areas for Lock Crates. It doesn't sound like that. No, that wolf let go pretty quick. Awesome. You know, I'm actually getting some good... I'm here talking and talking about other things. 
I'm actually picking up some good loot. So this little plateau, this little area up here is one of my hot spots for lock crates. I'm gonna get up on the rock over here because it's, oh my God, another blueberry plant. See, I'm starting to see them more often. I'm sure I was seeing a lot of them and not going after them because my brain wasn't trained to see them yet. Ooh, and copper? Hold on. Might as well grab the copper. It's right here in front of me. Come on, get up there. There we go. Okay, so up here at least I'm somewhat safe. Not completely safe, but somewhat safe. So this area is, a, as I consider, a hotbed for lock, lock boxes. It can they can spawn anywhere that I've seen in this top area up here, on the other side of that rock, down in that little valley. And then down in this little valley area as well. Now the reason I said they can spawn, I have found three on a screen at once here. And it was very common for me to see two at the same time in this area. So I would, I would usually be coming from this side and running up this way. And I might spot one there, come over the hill. And I would, you know, often see one right there and see one right there in that little divot right, right about where that rabbit is. I almost always saw a, a lock crate sitting there when it was time for a lock crate spawn. So what happened? Well, I know Cold Games adjusted some numbers. I'm not at liberty to explain what he adjusted, but I know he adjusted something to do with spawn of lock crates. And I'm thinking that when he made that adjustment, that the game, that the code, hold on a second, I'm gonna eat real quick. And remember, this is just me guessing. I have no knowledge of this. It's just, this is just me as a player guessing what might have happened. That when he made that, that change, because we used to see, like I said, I'd see two. I've actually seen, you know, upwards of three lock crates at any one time on a screen. Possible, I've seen it several times. I think what happened is that when he was going through and changing a spawn timer or how spawn or how something spawned, that it fixed something else. I'm not sure if that makes sense. So the game's been spawning lock crates as the game spawns like lock crates. And I learned something from Cole Games, once again, that I, I don't have the ability to release to you. Uh, actually, it's two tidbits of knowledge. It's rather interesting too, I wish I could. But um, the way lock crates spawn, he adjusted that. And I'm thinking that when he made that adjustment, it fixed something else. So we were always seeing lock boxes and people were like, I'd see two or three a day. I don't think you were supposed to be able to, you know, I don't think you were supposed to see three lock boxes on the screen at any given time. I think at the most what you should have seen is one. And then the lock boxes spawn in a random uh, pattern, uh, a random subset where they'll spawn here or spawn over there. And I think that the code was spawning too many at any given time. So you were seeing multiple lock, lock crates, but what you should have seen was one here and maybe one over there and there was too many spawning at any given time. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I almost forgot. <laughs> this is my probably my second favorite area for lock, uh, lock crates. I would see them spawning along this uh, ridge line right here, this rock face, up anywhere up to the top of this hill, and then especially down in this one area, and particularly, this bear doesn't mind me walking over here, Right there, right where that, that fern bush is, that was a hotbed of lock boxes right there. Almost, I'd say once every other day, I would, I'd run by and there'd be a lock box there. And then there's one more spot really close to us. I'm gonna run over and show you. And those are my, my three, I'd say my three top spots. There's two other spots I know lock crates, but they're on the far side of the map. And 
I think a video of me just showing you where to find lock crates in it, I'm sorry, I just think it's boring. It's just me though. So, right along that ridge, right there, okay, in this area, right where that fern bush is, is another little prime spot. And then this is one of those larger circle areas that I was talking about where it's a large circle and it can spawn anywhere in this circle. Right on this path right here is a key spot in this area. I would often find a lock crate right on that path right there or basically right where this other wolf is right here. Checking my stamina real quick, I'm good. Jump, jump, get away from the wolf. And right along this little path right here as well. It's another good area for lock crates. And then, this is actually a separate area. Right around this large tree. I've had them spawn right next to the tree and anywhere in this little valley around this tree. So there's four good spots that I can show you without doing a whole separate video on, hey, if you're looking for a lockbox, here's a good place to, but we just hit some of the, the, the main ones I would go look for, I'm not seeing it. I'm guessing that if I ran to the far side of the lake, I'll find a lockbox over there. I can't open it, so I can't respawn anything right now because I only have, you know, I'm not putting a BCU down yet. Oh darn, my fire's probably out. We'll go back and check. I'm not so worried about it because I've got enough fire starting kits and matches right now. Actually, I got matches on me. I got a match on me. So, yeah, I think I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to let my... If it's out, it's out. But I'm going to try to save it. It is kind of a running thing. I've kept my fire alive for, you know, six days. Haha. Uh -huh. But it is really starting to burn the wood. When I was short fire starting kits, it wasn't... It was worth it to waste wood to get uh, to keep the fire, so I didn't have to use fire starting kits. Now that I have enough fire starting kits and or matches, it's better to let the fire go out and light it once at night and use it only as a as a night source of cooking and of keeping myself warm and drying off after I go. Uh, swimming for kelp because surprisingly enough I talked bad about how bad talked bad about how, about how bad kelp was yep I, I said that but yeah I talked you know I didn't I said kelp really isn't that good of a, of a fruit and vegetable source man if you unless you want to eat your apples that's what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to avoid eating my apples the kelp was awesome two or three pieces of kelp would uh, get my fruits and vegetables from light green back to dark green almost full and let me last the entire night and I don't have to sit there and waste a whole apple so I talked bad about kelp and I've been actually kelp diving like a mofo I've been going after that kelp I can no tomorrow let's keep making them up because like I said I want to get a house started now I'm thinking of doing a small modest place. I think no more than, let's see, the center is five. So three or probably three foundations wide or three foundations front and back and maybe four or five foundations deep at the very most. Basically, I'm just gonna turn the, the top of the lake into my own personal hideaway. And I haven't decided if I want to have an, a, a post on top of the rock that's connected or is just a separate location. I haven't decided that yet. So that, that idea is something I still have to flesh out. I'm almost sure that fire's out. We'll go by and check, but I think my fire's out. And if it's out, I'm just going to leave it out. I've got enough food to see me through the day, I'm pretty sure. But I do want to drop off my supplies in case I die. Losing 33% of everything that I picked up today would rather suck. Especially all those boards. Ooh, ooh, hold on. Skip the wood. I see a bag. Oh, and I see a lot of animals. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't mind running from the animals, but there's no reason. Uh, yeah, I can't run by and grab the bag. It's not like a, a blueberry bush or a vegetable. I'm not going for it. Now I need to be careful. That bear can still... You are that bear. No, he's not bloody. That's probably the same bear that uh, got a swipe on me earlier. Man, you're a pain in my goodest smackness. You know that? Go bother somebody who cares. Oh my god, my fire went out. Oh well, it was going to happen. I am not... Oh, I don't need that. All right. Get it loaded for a night run. And I need more wood already. Fortunately, you know, I mean, I got 10 planks out of it, but ouch, I still need more wood. A lot more wood. My first bit of copper, yay. Need another storage container too, because I'm starting to get uh, empty on storage. Let's go ahead. It. Drop you in there for later. Probably want to make another canteen soon as well. Let's go across. It's nice to be able to cross the lake without getting wet and not needing to go all the way around because it gives me a few extra trees. I can come over here and scavenge at night in the middle of the night. I might move my fire into the middle and start actually setting up my... Uh, my base in the center now and not living on the edge like that. Dip a cash mine. This is really nice having these five, six trees right here. I can get a lot of wood in. I'm grabbing them now before the sun goes down. That way when the sun does go down, I can still come over here and just grab a couple uh, couple bobs really quick and easy. And I'll tell you, I've never built in this specific area before. It was my number two for my best area for starter, but that, w that was just based on the, the my understanding of the game. I'd actually never built in this area, so this is all new to me. This is actually new. Another reason why I'm taking it slow. There's no reason to rush. The hunters will be there when I want to turn them on. Though I am missing the challenge from the hunters. And I am getting to the point where I think that the challenge of keeping everything basic and finding food isn't much anymore. You know, I, I think I'm, I think I've almost, you know, I want to be careful how I say this. I think I've almost got to the point where I've completed that challenge. And now I need another challenge, which means I need to turn the hunters on. Another reason why I'm gathering so much wood, ooh, lots of ammo, nice. Another reason why I'm gathering a lot of wood is so that I can get at least the foundation of my base started before I turn the hunters on. And thinking about the size, I need at least six foundations. Six foundations will be the start, and then of course I need the walls and roof and that kind of stuff. I'm just gonna do flat roof, you know, using ceiling as my roof for now, because I'm not going to expand it until, you know, I'm ready to go that big. So I'm just gonna put a, basically a cube in the center of the, the lake, and I'll start building up from there. Now, the reason I'm being careful is because those hunters they, they don't care. They don't care how much, uh, when they when they come in and when they wanna start attacking, they're gonna come with grenade tipped arrows, grenades from the start. That is something Cold Games has got to do something about. The hunters need to have a progression. Not only does their base have to have a progression, not only does their armor have to have a progression, but the way they attack, the armament that they have, the weapons that they have on them from the get-go has got to be adjusted because day one rogue hunters even, 
or just or let's say regular hunters because I guess rogue hunters come in later a day one regular hunter if I go and he's put down a fireplace and I go to attack him he's gonna pull out a shotgun or a rifle you know he's he has weapons that I don't have access to so if I put my BCU down on day one I'm already outgunned I mean seriously outgunned too because they've got grenades you know, not only can I, I don't have the resources, I don't have the workbench to make a grenade. Neither do they. So, Cole Games has got to do something about that. He's got to figure out to the way to code it so that the, the hunters only have the weapons available to them based on their tech level. And I don't know if he's ever thought about the hunters having a quote-unquote tech level, but... I hope he I hope he does consider it because I think it would help the game a lot. You know, I was actually looking for some meat, but I think I'll just go fishing. Everything around me is level three bears. <laughs> I know I ran out a lot of rabbits today and chickens and yeah, oh well. I guess I should have gone for at least one of them. I'm looking real quick to see if I see dinner. I mean I'll get some fish, I know. But it'd be nice to have a rabbit or a chicken in the in the fireplace when I start it. Guess that's not gonna happen. Okay. No problem. Hmm. Can I grab you? Yes. Now he shouldn't follow me all the way back home. He will track me for a little bit, probably to right about here at the closest. I should be fine. All right, nothing around this corner. Sure. Yeah, like I said, it's it's not the best scenario, but it's also not my worst scenario. So, got a lot of wood though. That's awesome. Especially since I need to keep making planks. Leave myself with 10 because I'll be able to get more anyways. And even a new ammo source. Awesome. All right, guys and gals, that's my time for today. I've been Critical. This has been Subsistence on Season 4. I hope you've enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.